Hey there! A very generous viewer from Singapore sent me four pens, and one of the pens he sent me uh, was a Pilot non-self-filling fountain pen, uh, which uh, sounds very fancy. Um, and this, in fact, is the pen. Um, I'm going to go over the past the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, but first, thanks a lot for sending me this pen, I really appreciate it. Um, I think of the three, no, so of the four pens he sent me, I like this one best. Uh, it is a pilot pen, and it's a very decent quality. Clearly, this is one of the lower end parkers on the, uh, sorry, uh, lower end uh, pilots on the price spectrum, but I think this one is still very cool. So let's cover the parts of the pen before I tell you what I like about it and don't like about it. Uh, let's start with the finial of the cap. I'm not sure how well you can see this, very reflective, but believe me, it says Japan uh, in little relieved letters. Then you have the clip, which says pilot, and the cap, which is gold. Uh, the clip is very springy, very nice to use, not too tight. Okay, uh, it comes with a little sticker that says pilot and then the, whoops, sorry, uh, pilot and then the nib grade medium. Then you have a barrel that gently tapers down into just a black uh, end of the barrel, nothing fancy. Um, you open up the pen, you can post it. If you don't post it, it's a pretty decent size, and if you do post it, then you've got a really comfortable pen. Um, I found the section to be pretty interesting. It has these ribs uh, that give you a pretty nice grip, actually. I, I, I liked it, um, especially because I hold my pen a little bit highly, and then my fingers are really on that, that ribbed material, which is quite nice. Now you have a bit of a step down from the barrel, and that is quite sharp. It's pretty sharp plastic, but when you hold it about halfway through the section, you don't feel it at all, which is really quite comfortable. All right. The nib is, I'm pretty certain, interchangeable with pens like the Plumix, the Penmanship, the Priera, etc. I think, I haven't tried it, but looking at the shape of the nib, I think it's one of those nibs. But I could be wrong, so please don't um, take my word for it. Um, that's what it does. Okay, it is. It says Pilot Super Quality Japan M for medium. Now, as you may know, Japanese nibs typically are one grade smaller than uh, Western nibs, so a Japanese medium would be uh, Western fine, and that is indeed what I find with this pen. Um, it is gold colored. It's nice, uh, and it has that section that we've also seen on the Priera, etc., which makes me believe you can just interchange the nibs on those pens. Okay, now what's the deal with this thing being called non-self-filling? Well, it doesn't come with a cartridge, it doesn't come with a converter, it comes with an eyedropper. A very cute little eyedropper. It's very simple. I can't really demonstrate this because I filled the barrel up with ink completely. That's what you do. You just unscrew the section, one of the old systems to fill a pen, take a bottle of ink, take your eyedropper, draw up ink, Put the drops in the barrel, more drops, more drops, etc., until the barrel is, I would say, about this part full, just below the threads. Put a little bit of silicon grease on the threads, uh, silicon grease, and then screw it back in there and write. Now, a little trick uh, that's not mine, uh, it's actually from Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution. A really nice way to get your ink flowing because, of course, when you do this, you don't dip the nib and feed into the ink to saturate them is fill up your um, pen the way you want it to be filled with ink, then screw in the section until you have just maybe one or two millimeters of threads left. Then turn it around, you can do that over the ink bottle or on paper, but not over your clothes. Turn it around and then screw the rest of the pen in there. And usually what happens is you push out a drop of ink and then the nib and feed are primed and you can write straight away. thought I'd just share that with you. Again, not, not my trick. It belongs to Kevin. All right. Um, things I like about it and things I don't like about it. Well, it's a very simple design. Black and gold, quite classic. Uh, you've got uh, Parker 51s that, that kind of look like this. I know they have a jewel and stuff, but I mean, it's, it's roughly... I, 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 um, I own a 51 that has this black and then a gold cap. Um, it doesn't feel particularly cheap. 
it is plastic, but it doesn't feel like that super cheap, super light plastic that you see in some other uh, pens. So that is quite nice. Um, posts well, and it writes well. Even though it's a fairly fine nib, it actually writes well. Uh, it is. It gives you a bit of the sort of um, pilot feedback. But to be honest, I have used a lot scratchier nib. So for a relatively fine nib, I don't think it's scratchy at all. Things I don't like about it. An eyedropper filled pen has one huge advantage. It has a huge ink reservoir. And that's why this one is colloquially known as the tank. Um, I mean, think of the average converter that holds a little under a milliliter of ink. Just picture one, and then picture all of this being filled with ink. That's a whole lot more. The downside to that is, this pen doesn't have ink reservoir, so you have no idea how much ink is left. And if you unscrew it, clearly, you have to be very careful. One danger, uh, point of danger is accidentally unscrewing it and getting this to leak because if this ends up in your trousers, that's a lot of ink. Uh, or, you know, business documents in your bag, etc. So you have to be careful with these types of pens. If leakage occurs or if somehow this barrel is crushed, that's a whole lot of ink. Um, having said that, if you're careful, it shouldn't be a problem. And the positive side of this is you get a lot of ink. So you can write a lot of pages with this before it runs dry. Okay, let's take a couple of measurements before we move on to the um, writing part of this video. Lengthwise, I get about 134 millimeters. Yes, 134. Uncapped, I have 124 millimeters section diameter at the narrowest point just below where it flares a bit I have about 8 millimeters and at the widest point I have about 10 millimeters as to weight bear in mind it's completely inked up now so there is some ink in there and which weighs something I get about 10 um, grams which is not a whole lot it's a fairly light pen so there you have it I'm going to take a sip of tea thanks a lot for sending me this pen. I enjoy it a lot. Um, and uh, I think we should see this pen in action. That's what we're going to do next. I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, let's have a look at this pilot. Non self filling, aka the tank. Uh, the nib is medium and the ink is Noodler's Nikita. Mivas Pohoronium! Okay, a um, bit of writing. I am quite impressed by this nib and the reason is that it is as you can see pretty fine here we have a Delta Dolce Vita broad um, which I had, hadn't used for a bit so I had a bit of startup issues um, I believe this is Trève Turquoise from Ackermann but um, you see the difference in, uh, in, in line width there uh, so very fine, even though it is a medium, as I explained in the uh, first part of this video, why. Um, but even though it's very fine, it's not scratchy at all. It really gives a very pleasant, smooth writing experience. Pilot really does an excellent job in making super nice nibs. Okay, let's do a bit of fast writing. I lost track there. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, me was. Oh. Not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, Noodle is Nikita. Uh, the pen itself, I think, writes very nicely. And as you can see, even with fast writing, there's not really any skips or something, so that's quite nice. When it comes to wetness, um, that's also a property of the paper and the ink you use, but I think for such a relatively fine nib, it's really pretty wet. 
when it comes to line variation, these pilot nibs can be a bit springy. And I do think you see a bit of line variation here. Not a whole lot, but there is a little bit. Okay, finally, if you want an even finer line, you could turn it around for some reverse writing, but as you can see, the flow is quite bad, it's very scratchy, so that is not a very good idea. Thanks a lot for sending me this pen. I like it a lot. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I hope this review was useful, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.